here with how a spring tune-up can help with maintenance to allergies also can help you with that as well. We're so Thanks glad to coming. have you in here. You. I can't believe what you brought here with yeah, you, though. Isn't that something? <laughs> well, you're going to show us this. Uh, first off, this just gives you, I mean, this is, I hope, is a worst case scenario of what can happen with well, a filter. Well, yeah, good question. So this filter is a real filter, just came out of a customer's house last week. So it was mm -hmm. a furnace that we had to replace. But um, you look at this and like a small dog in there. It's uh, oh full of hair and dirt, and um, this is all preventable. It's preventable by having us or a company like ours do a maintenance uh, twice a year in spring and fall. Well, this looks so horrible. How <laughs> yes. long does it take to get like that? Well, Barbara, you know, it depends a lot on the house. You know, this house certainly had dogs, so mm -hmm. uh, I would suggest this was probably somewhere around a, a six to 12 month period that it took that long so to get there. So that's really not that long. Right, it, it, it's yeah. really not. And most people don't really change their filters, especially if they're in a crawl space or an attic. They don't, you know, don't want to get in the attic or the crawl space, or they really physically can't get in the attic or crawl space. So, so what is going on with your system when a filter is like that? Well, a filter like that, you know, a couple of things. Number one, the, all the allergens, the dust mites, the dead skin is being trying to be captured here, but really what's happening is two things. Nothing's getting filtered properly, so it's, at that point it's our nose hair is basically filtering it because oh. it's a little too late. The other thing happening here is that the unit is stressed, so it can't breathe properly. When it can't breathe properly, it's going to fail. Yeah. And many units fail prematurely simply because the filters aren't maintained. So it's helping with the life of the unit, but also with your health as that, well. That's right. What did you bring here? Well, this is something a lot of our customers put in, Barbara, and uh, it's a filter that's, as you can see, it's a thicker than this one inch typical mm -hmm. filter. This is a five inch filter, but it literally uh, is filtering five times more allergens or dust mites. And uh, a filter like this will remove 98.5% of all allergens in your house. That's pretty amazing. So this, whole, really this yeah. whole cabinet goes in, right? It does. It, yeah, it goes yeah. against the furnace. And mm -hmm. so the air returns through the, uh, through the filter and then it goes into the supply ducts and throughout the house. But this uh, f filter is capturing a lot more allergens and dust mites and dirt than something like that one inch conventional filter is doing. I would think when you pull something <laughs> like this out though and show it, that has to have a big impact on homeowners. It really does. Um, they're, they're quite alarmed, quite frankly, that it really was that bad. Um, and the, the other downside of a filter like this is that their energy bills are not efficient because, mm -hmm. once again, the system can't operate properly without proper filtration. So it's kind of embarrassing for a customer to see this. A lot of customers will say, I change my filters all the time. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. Yeah. You were telling yeah. us at uh, the beginning of spring, a very good time to do a checkup. What's involved with that? Perfect time to do it right now. Um, a, a checkup like that for our company costs roughly $89, and most companies are about that price, so it's well worth it. But we bring new filters to a house. Uh, we're checking out all the electric components of the system. We're checking out the refrigerant in the system uh, to make sure that's properly charged. Because at the end of the day, uh, HVAC encompasses about 60, 55 to 60 percent of your electric bill. And so we really need to do our best to preventively maintain that system. So you're saying two times a year for you to come out and should homeowners though be checking it more than that sometimes? Well, if they know if they, they've got a lot of dogs and things like that they around? Should, they, should, they should be checking that every three months at least and some customers even monthly depending on how many kids are in the house and how many dogs and cats are in the house. Correct. All right, Mike Buckley yeah. with the Comfort Heating and Air, thanks for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it very much. Thank you.